Hey what's up guys, it's Jay here from 360 Studios and today we'll be going through white belt Muay Thai training. So here is our character, our little Muay Thai looking dude. So we're going to choose him and he's part of American Top Team. And we're just going to give you a sense of the Muay Thai training, uh, the particular secondary effects Muay Thai has and its usefulness uh, in fights. So, uh, let us go to training. Let's live, have a little slide around, hit training. And we want to go for white belt Muay Thai. So, in general, this tells us, this little screen here, that Muay Thai is attack focused. Um, it has lots of crits, uh, deal extra damage, so that's one of the secondary effects. And it also counters your opponent's attacks, and that's another of its secondary effects. Uh, and minus is that it's got low damage and basic moves, more so than some of the other disciplines. Uh, but let's go into training now. So we'll tap training. And this here is our introduction to white belt Muay Thai training. So here we'll be training with Roger Crow. And our objectives are to retain health and the coach and we'll get a number of stars depending on how well we do in the training session. So if we manage to hit our coach one time we'll get one star, twice uh, two stars, three times three stars and we've got to do that, we've got to complete that within five turns. So let's go training. So we now enter the ring. Okay, so uh, this is Muay Thai. Hey, Ricardo. Uh, it's all about inflicting damage even when defending. Let's try a Muay Thai move card against your opponent. Okay, so these are our move cards. And as you can see, there's lots of sharp elbows and nasty leg kicks. So let's select one and hit attack. The opponent has partially blocked it, but we still get through, so we get one star so far. Uh, each discipline has special move cards that have bonus effects, so these are the secondary effects that I mentioned earlier. Uh, Muay Thai uses counters. When they defend, they also deal damage. Tap and hold to see the effect. So this is one of the bonus effects, one of the secondary effects, and if we hold this, we can see it says... Uh, counter, uh, deal 2 damage if successfully defended. So let's lock that in. And because, there you go, counter attack. Because we defended their incoming attack, our secondary effect uh, activated and we counter attacked. At counter attacked. 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 So now we'll move on to critical hits, which are also one of Muay Thai's uh, known secondary effects. So critical hits offer the chance to inflict more damage on an attack. Tap and hold to see the effect. Tap and hold, so critical hit, 25% chance to deal, uh, 3 plus damage. So let's lock that baby in. And that then was the secondary effect in motion and the critical hit was activated all disciplines have KO or submission move cards your opponent has a knockout move card I've got a feeling we're gonna get knocked out <laughs> counter attack see my counter attack secondary effect uh, hits but nevertheless we have got knocked out so it's tap time. So you just tap the screen to recover. Final turn, great recovery. Being knocked out or submitted ends fights instantly. Now let's see if you can finish strong. You have some great move cards there. So again, we can tap and hold. We've got an awesome high roundhouse with critical hit, 30% chance to deal two damage. So let's go with that. And let's just select all the attacks. Oh, we can select one, lock it in. Critical hit, secondary effect was activated. And there you go, we finished Roger off. Sorry, Roger. 
Yeah, so critical hits um, are good in a fight because you can unexpectedly deal more damage than you intended to. So probably best off using them towards the end of fights. If uh, maybe you're down on your luck and a critical hit card comes up and you're just like, okay, I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. Hopefully this will hit and uh, I'll, uh, I'll upset my opponent and uh, inflict a large amount of unexpected damage. And I'd probably say the counters, counters are always good if, if you read your opponent's cards first. So if your opponent's got a particular card and you've got a corresponding body part card with a counter and you've got a feeling your opponent throw that, that card, you can counter with your card and there's a good chance that uh, you'll fire back some damage. So, got to finish with five or more health, so we're gonna defend with, oh no, that was a silly move. So our target here is finish with more than five health. So that is critical hit. So like I said, let's just uh, try, our, try our luck with that and hopefully it'll activate. Nope, because it was blocked. That's, that did quite a bit of damage. Three turns to go. So I, I like a double body part defensive moves like that. It covers two areas of, in one. Uh, okay, I got some good. I'm just going to go all out. Try and beat Roger. So you see there that that critical, second, critical hit secondary effect activated. See now, critical hit and Roger is down. So yeah, there you go guys. This was just uh, a little introduction to Muay Thai um, and its usefulness in fights and the bonus effects or secondary, secondary effects that are with the discipline. Uh, Muay Thai is one of my favorite disciplines uh, just because it has loads of cool like kicking moves and elbows and stuff. It just look really flashy and cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully you know a little bit more about the discipline of Muay Thai now and about the bonus effects that come with it. So I'll be doing more videos in this series talking through the different disciplines. So stay tuned for more and thanks for watching. See you later guys.